Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well and that you had just an awesome Christmas. This is another jacket video. You probably have seen me upload a handful. I think I'm gonna do four total. So this is one of those four. In the first video, I kind of set up, preface it, but I'll give cliff notes here for those that haven't seen that video. I'm a gear tester, product reviewer. I have a lot of great relationships with a lot of great companies. I get a lot of stuff to test out. If I really like that stuff, it makes it onto this channel right here. I don't take money from any of these companies directly. I do have affiliate links with some, so if you buy them, then I will make a small percentage. But I, I don't take any money to make reviews as of, as of today. I, I haven't taken a, a cent from a single company to do a review. So all of these reviews of these products are, are products that I really like, in case you were wondering. I live in Colorado, pretty high elevation. I'm wearing jackets at least half the year. Usually I'm doing a bunch of outdoor stuff, shooting and just regular guy, go to the grocery store stuff. So I'm kind of approaching it from that direction, just kind of regular everyday dude. I'm 5'10", 180 to 185. So that you can take into consideration for sizing and how it fits on me and things like that. So if you're my size, perfect. If not, you know, go up or down from there. I don't think there's anything else to say. Without further ado, we're just gonna kinda get into the review of the jacket. This is a Tactical Distributors Down hoodie. I forget the version that they call it. I really believe it's like the fourth version of their Down. I bought the first couple uh, before I was kinda doing a bunch of videos on YouTube and then kind of developed a relationship with them to where I'm actually, I beta test some of their products, give them a lot of feedback in the development process. Uh, this was one that they got out to me early, so I've been I've been using it since before it was available, honestly, and it's it's a great jacket. I really like down jackets because they seem to keep you warm, but not overheat you in a store. So you can go from cold to hot and just keep the jacket on. So yeah, this one's in Ranger Green. You'll tell the main thing that you'll notice off the bat is the unique pattern. So I don't even know the technical terms for it, but kind of like baffling basically. Down jackets need to have it to keep the feathers actually in place so they can do their thing. The Tactical Distributors kind of has a unique one that they, I believe, introduced last year with their non-hooded version, and they've continued the trend. I just, I think it looks cool. It's kind of eye-catching, different, unique, and relatively effective. So down jackets just by their very nature are a little bit puffier because they're trapping air in the hair to insulate your body. So that's kind of the nature of down jackets all across the board and and this one no different. <sighs> I don't really have a format. Let's start with the zipper. It is a YKK so smooth, engages easy, nice, no issues with that whatsoever. Zipper works well. It does have a hood like I mentioned before. It does have a little elastic strap on the inside. So when it zips up, it is kind of a neck and kind of comes up to your chin a little bit. If you really wanted to, you could kind of tuck your face in like this for a little bit more coverage. But by default, it's just kind of like comes up just kind of to the bottom part of your chin, but really does a good job of sealing it off. It is one way adjustable back here, which kind of, it's, it's unique in that a lot of times this back adjustment kind of makes it shallower. This one pulls a little internal bungee cord that really kind of runs like this. So pulling it kind of sucks this whole thing in. It works really well with a hat. Without a hat, I'll just take my hat off real quick. But without a hat, I do notice that the hood is a little bit big here so it comes down a little bit much in the front for my style you can kind of tighten it a little more the more it tight i mean it's really effective in keeping you warm but when you tighten this hood it really kind of sucks it sucks it to you like that which i mean you really you want that in the hood but it makes it kind of a little bit weird when you just kind of toss in the hood from the tossing your hood on from the the car to the store i'm not sure if this is dwr treated or not <laughs> let's just go ahead and do the test doesn't, uh, it beads up a little bit. Uh, I have used this jacket a lot. DWR isn't permanent, so sorry for not knowing that. But if it is DWR coated, it might just need a refresh because this is probably, this year anyways, this has been my most used jacket. And I'm not easy on jackets. I'll bundle, throw them in the car, rub against stuff, go hiking, go in and out of my truck a lot, go shooting, backpacks on all the time. So, so yeah, I'm, 
kind of a good candidate for testing gear, I guess. Okay, so zipper is good, hood is good, but kind of a little bit big if you're not wearing a hat. If you're wearing a hat, it's a, it's a really great hood. We do have a little chest pocket up here, which I like. The zipper goes down, and while it doesn't have like a dedicated interior pocket here, it does have some pouches that you can stash stuff with uh, sound ports so you can run your headphones or your comms or whatever through a little port into the, the exterior of the jacket. And it does have these, which I kind of like. I usually, they usually have like holes in them, so I don't put like change. This one feels like it's completely sealed off. But these are on both sides, where you can stuff a beanie is the main thing I'll use. I'll usually just like put a beanie or something, maybe some gloves down in here. Cause it's a nice big pocket, basically, where you can store kind of bigger, flatter items that aren't super heavy, so they're not weighing your jacket down. But this does have those on both sides. What they really are is just the pockets. So when you see these jackets, it's kind of like a dual purpose thing where it's, this is the pocket, but also they turn it into an interior pocket. I love when companies do that. I don't know why all pockets aren't like, like this. There may be a reason, but I do really like putting gloves and beanies and stuff in there. The inside of the pocket isn't felt lined, but it is soft and it is comfortable. And the insulation is where you want it between your hand and the elements. So good candidate for pocket warmers, though they are very big. They are very big pockets. They do zip up as well if you need to store stuff in there more securely. Does have a non-adjustable but elastic kind of stretchy waistband, similar to how it does the cuffs. Stretchy, nice, not too tight, but it is, again, elastic. So it is pulling in nice and somewhat snug, though it's not tight all the way. I can fit my fingers in here before it really starts to stretch out the elastic. So yeah, this is Ranger Green. I believe it comes in a black also. Nice pockets, nice layout, really comfortable. Down jackets are extremely light and relatively breathable, so they'll keep you warm, but keep you cool somehow by magic. Oh yeah, it does keep you really warm. It's not a super heavy down though, so it's not for like really, really cold weather. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend it if you're going out in zero degrees as this is your only piece, but it can be used in a bigger layering system. And down compresses to almost nothing, so easy to store this kind of in a bag or whatever. You don't want to do that long term, but you can do it if you're taking it on a hike or whatever. And yeah, something about God creating geese and their feathers really makes it able to breathe well and not overheat so much when you're just kind of in the store, which is kind of my outdoor to store test criteria. This is one of the best jackets for that. Yeah, so fits pretty good. This is a size large and it's it's nice. It's nice. I like it. I don't know what else there is to talk about it, so I think we're just going to wrap up that portion. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You guys, if you've watched all these videos in a row, may be getting tired of me hearing me getting tired. You may be getting tired of hearing me say all this, but as always, appreciate those thumbs ups, comments down below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do have a Patreon account, patreon.com slash LLOD. If you're into supporting uh, artists for free content, artists, creators, I don't know what I am really, a creator, I'm not really an artist. I do have a website, llod.us, where you can pick up LLOD specific last line of defense is what that stands for, specific merchandise, holsters, gear, things like that. So also just getting subscribed to the channel helps hugely. So thanks again. I appreciate those comments down below. I always look forward to reading them. Until next time, take care.